All right, so today we're gonna to talk about a little bit of characteristic footwork in Filipino martial arts, um, and that is triangle footwork. So a lot of the iconography that you see in Filipino martial arts, um, logos and symbols and things like that, have a lot of triangles in them, um, and a lot of that comes from this footwork principle. So um, imagine an X on the floor, um, and you're gonna be in the center of the X. So the first one we're gonna do is called the reverse triangle. So it's out, coming out from behind me. Um, I start with my feet together. I'm going to set my left foot back and to the left to make the left side of the triangle. Feet back together and then step back and to the right to make the right side of the triangle. So I'm stepping back, stepping back. Feet together, step apart, feet together, step apart. So this reverse triangle um, or male triangle, um, it looks like a mountain and I'm at the top of the mountain setting my feet back one side or the other. Um, things to look for, things to keep in mind. I want to keep my body weight in the center of that X, at the top of that triangle. So I'm not leaning my body weight back per se, as much as keeping everything over that front foot and letting the back foot turn out. I reset, I set, I let that back foot turn out. As I'm doing this, I can be hitting my angles of attack. We're just going to do one and two, although you could certainly do three and eight and five and six, all sorts of good stuff. Um, but for right now, just to make it simple, let's look at one and two. As my left foot goes back, I hit the forehand, I hit the angle one. As my right foot goes back, I hit the angle two, the backhand. So this is turning the hips and the shoulders and the angle of attack of my stick all in the same line. I step together, right foot goes back, and I hit. So that I'm adding more body weight into the hit, rather than going the opposite, where I kind of twist myself up. If I were to set my right foot back and swing my angle one, I'm going in opposite directions. My hips are going to my right, my stick and my shoulders are trying to go to my left, and it's awkward. So reverse triangle, often used to generate force, this is my default version, um, although sometimes you will see it with more of a retreat that's actually being used as a defensive retreating action. Then maybe my body weight comes with me, but for right now, I'm looking to stay where I am and just generate extra force by throwing some body weight around. Um, the opposite, or the next version, is forward triangle. And forward triangle, I'm gonna imagine going out in front of me. So staying at the, the center of that X, my right foot steps forward into the right, come back to neutral, left foot steps forward into the left. Notice with this, um, my torso is rotating towards the center, so I'm not leaving it forward this way as much as I'm angling it in towards the center of that, like if I had a diamond, if I extended this out to make a diamond. As I go the other way, again, not forward, but turning in slightly. Um, in this instance, my body weight is going to travel with the foot and I'm going to end up with most of the weight on the front leg. So I step and angle in, reset, step and angle in. One and two. Um, so this forward triangle or female triangle um, is better for actually dissipating force rather than generating a bunch of force with my big angle one, angle two, reverse triangle steps. Now I'm trying to get out of the way. So this tends to be a more defensive action, although you can have applications that are offensive as well. Um, so I'm stepping, angling in, and keeping my um, body weight moving with the leg. This time as my right foot goes, angle one, I reset. As my left foot goes, angle two. So one to the right, two to the left. But the rule about as my hips turn, my shoulders turn, and my stick turn all in the same direction, still applies. So we've got reverse triangle coming out behind me. I've got forward triangle coming in front of me. Um, we actually have one more in this same X. Instead of forward triangle or reverse triangle, I can do the lateral triangles on either side, or as I like to call them, non-binary triangle. So with the foot planted, now I'm going to step forward and step back with one side. So my right leg is moving, 
my left leg is going to be my stationary pivot for right now. One and two. One and two. You can also do this the opposite direction and have my right foot stationary and my left foot moving. One and two. One and two. Although I tend to move the foot that has the stick attached to it um, because that lets me get into range for my hits and then out of range for my hits. Let's me get into range and out of range. Forward and back. Forward and back. And for lateral triangle, um, you can really vary how much your torso is moving. Sometimes you'll see this done where the leg moves and the shoulder almost doesn't. Sometimes you'll see this done with a full rotation, right? So now my shoulders are going like northeast to southwest, and now they're going opposite. Sometimes you'll see it done where my shoulders maintain their same rotation. Um, and that really just depends on your application, what you're looking to do. So I have this, again, angle one, angle two. Hips and shoulders all are moving together. Hips and shoulders are all moving together on the way back. On the lateral triangle or non-binary triangle, I have moving forward, angle one and angle two with my forward triangle or my female triangle and I have moving back or staying stationary but just turning to generate force with my reverse triangle or male triangle. And again, anytime you're doing an angle one, that could be any of our forehand shots. So that could be angle one, angle three, angle seven, it could be thrusting, it could be hitting, kind of any of those apply. Anything on the angle two side could be a different backhand. Um, so a little bit about triangular footwork in the Philippine martial arts. Have fun with it, play with it, and we'll talk about other stuff.